Here at the test kitchen of St. Wilfred's Lumentic Institute, we've been working tirelessly to perfect the latest in hypernormal offset technology. Introducing the four-barreled laser transmodulator. Taking full advantage of recent discoveries at the Center for Electroseismic Reactor Notions, or CERN, I and my fellow Illuminats have been harnessing the power of the quadrature alembic Mu meson voluptuizer to alter the space-time continuity of laser beams. Entangled in its own multi-dimensional infrastator neo-matrix, the optical disconfiguration component causes coberent emissions to refragilate tectonically, creating pyramidal perturbations in the optical speculum. Utilizing a virtual antikytherian calendric calculator, the transmodulator drives down a quantum well, counting the octized omega orbitals as it goes. Equipped with herbium-doped antecessors in its preheater, the transmodulation produced lucency is preserved down to 445 anemometers. Traction bootstrapping provides metastable energy protuberance, which prevents iterative Reltney feedback, which can lead to a rapid unscheduled disassembly event. Safety first! When mated with a frenulum-aligned bong dongle, the transmodulator reaches down to the very bottom of the space-time substrate, the quantum froth just below the noise floor of reality itself. Here we are working with the equations developed by Baron James Joyce in his groundbreaking opus Das Booty, Achtung mit der Fax, Eugene. Manufactured from Illudium Q36 and Caverite, the encabulator controlled manufacturing process ensures complete compliance with the reverent technosolophical promulgations. A Fnordstrom relay links the first stages of this. A bistromatic field oscillator creates momentum storage in a non-euclidean parsing cell. Mesothermic debonding agents create a maceration of platonic solids into a fine protoatomic slurry, which is then heated, molded, and then stonewashed to produce a virtual Archimedes lever. In use, the distal proximeter engages with a parametric gravity notcher to create an extra-dimensional Heinlein artifact. The Tyson compensator interacts with this and a wideband sideband is produced, leading to full transmodulation of the photronic output. Dichrotonic birefringencies are corrected with a Lisa skew shorted radiation system. A Bell's curve two-core Steinlifter completes the operation. Adjustments are made with a galvanic cascade interocitor, a multi-axis wobulator, and a gyroscopic Groot clanger signals when the sigma drift is sealed. <coughs> and as we have seen, the four-barreled transmodulator is on course to consternate the entire opto-industrial complex. Photonics factories worldwide will be recompensating their lithographic 4D roto-engravers and nano-line conflators to take advantage of this exciting new technography. Laser Transmodulator is a wholly owned subsidiary of Mondodyne Photonics, LLC. All rights reverse engineered. It's a panometric fan. <laughs>